You're taking a live look from Sky Fox 5, where police are actively searching for an armed robber who shot a Clayton County police officer and the person he tried to rob. Multiple units are on this scene right now, as you can see. Medics have rushed that officer and the robbery victim to the hospital with gunshot wounds. Clayton County has placed several schools in the area on lockdown while the manhunt is on. Thanks so much for joining us today for Fox 5 News at 4. I'm Christine Spiro. We want to get right to that breaking news where this is the man police are looking for. This is a surveillance image of the suspect who's wearing what looks like a yellow jacket and pants with black tennis shoes. Police responded to an armed robbery call when that officer was shot. This all unfolded around 2.30 on Windjammer Shopping Center. We have live team coverage of the shooting right now. Fox 5's Janice Yu joins us on the manhunt for this gunman. But we begin first with Fox 5's Christopher King. He has details on how this all started. Christine, it is very busy out here. Take a look right now. This is the scene right now. There are dozens of police cars out here, too many to count. There's a lot of activity centered right here at the strip mall. Various law enforcement agencies are out here. That includes the ATF, State Patrol, and Clayton County. They have tape up around the parking lot. And here's what Fox 5 is learning right now. We know at least one officer and one civilian were shot. The officer was hit in the abdomen. The Clayton County Police Chief spoke a short time ago. Here's what he had to say. That suspect discharged his firearm twice, striking both the officer and the victim. Both appear to be non-life-threatening injuries, and as you see, we have our tactical units deployed. We will be here until we apprehend that suspect. Both the officer and that robbery victim are expected to be okay. Now, police confirm the shooter is still on the loose. They say they have him cornered in an apartment complex behind this shopping center. Now, Riverdale Road is blocked off at Norman Drive for about a quarter of a mile. We are working to get more details. Stay with Fox 5 on air and online for the very latest on this breaking story. We are live in Clayton County. Christopher King. Fox 5 News. All right, Christopher, thanks for that update. And we know we want to get this uh, authorities want to get this dangerous suspect into custody as soon as possible. So let's go to Fox 5's Janice Yu with details on the manhunt that's underway now. Janice. Well, Christine, like Chris says, this is a very active scene right now. The manhunt is very active. People are uh, on the ground as well as you can hear the helicopters up ahead. And I want to kind of give you another look at the busy scene here. We're talking Clayton County Sheriff, Clayton County Police, ATF, Fulton County officials are all here. Now, the sheriff uh, is asking everyone in this area to please stay inside. I mean, it is a large amount of law enforcement out here trying to find that suspect in that shooting right now. And there are also three schools in the area that are on lockdown as police comb through this area. Now, there are a lot of strip malls uh, right near the strip mall where the shooting happened. So, of course, there's a lot of traffic, a lot of people. I would suggest avoiding the area of Riverdale uh, and Crystal Lake Road altogether. Traffic is backed up, and as you can see, police officers have taken over this road. So, Christine, this is a very active manhunt, and we'll continue to bring you any new updates as we get them. Live in Clayton County, Janice Hugh, Fox 5 News. Janice and Christopher Thanks so much. Be sure to download the Fox 5 News app because we're going to continue to follow the breaking developments and bring you updates on air and online as soon as they happen.